Shifting Shade or no Savannah's, like you see now. Actually, is this a Brawl Savannah's? I like it. I like it. Yeah. Hopefully, he just still, like, Karen wins the battle and he just still Karen. Just steal it. Aww. Oh, man. Steal the Karen. Oh, it's right. what, is, what is it, both? Wait, it's not both. It's, um. Wait, yeah, what is he called? What? Which he one? doesn't even need to execute it. No, he uh, well, it. he doesn't have to execute it. Cause, Bloodhoof? Bane, uh, Bloodhoof? Bane. Bane. Like, Bane can actually just straight up trade with it after heal. Mm -hmm. So, like, he doesn't actually have to kill it. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh. That is disgusting. Flash heal, too? Oh. This is another Zoth warrior, by the way. So, like, I, I feel like seeing all this stuff going down, that the warrior is already behind because the... Priest has what double uh, Entomb plus Sylvanas, yeah. so he could just steal all the death rattles yeah. at any point. Yeah. And now Priest is able to outvalue a lot of uh, classes now too. Just like they're they have a really huge power turns with like uh, Resurrect and this um, Onyx Bishop right here. Yeah, Onyx Bishop's been quite a powerhouse. Like. Man, everybody was hating on all the new cards. They're like, none of these cards are going to help Priest. None of them. Absolutely none of them. And then all of a sudden, Priest is starting to do well. Hell, it's actually in the top 8 at the moment. Yeah. But let's see if it can hey, go to the surprise, top no 4. Dragons in hand. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Crazy. Oh, oh my god. No, already no, playing the Zod. Damn. <laughs> That's huge. Oh, that wasn't even a top deck that you wanted, but you can kill Savannah at the very least. She is good. No, Savannah! Uh, sad face. That was an air. Yes, my friend, that was an air. Yeah, it was an air. Not that it mattered, because he's probably not winning unless he actually draws Nazoth. Even then, how many guys does he have left in deck? 50 million? 50 million? Oh, uh, yeah, probably a the lot. Warrior. Yeah, probably a lot, like 13, 15. Actually, the Warrior True Boy. Wow, he was actually pretty exhausted then. Like, the Priest probably outvalued them a lot before actually coming into this game. Well, the Warrior has a lot of natural draw cards, like what? Shield Block, yeah. Acolyte of Pain, Shenanigans. Yeah, like, it, it just has a lot of ways to just draw a bunch of cards. Yeah. Fiery Like, the Priest actually just get. Yeah, that's why he lost. He didn't draw in the in the in turn like in like. He didn't draw fire or he win yeah. X. Yeah, no, no, no. That's why I did. He drew it too late. Because it takes more of a tempo play or not tempo play, uh, control like old school control. And old school control hasn't been that great. Mm -hmm. that's yeah, your I mean, you have second. Dragon Warrior, Warrior. Oh, there we go. I even think Pirate Warrior is ahead of regular Control Warrior. Mm -hmm. The Zoth Warrior is just like in between. I'm gonna invite. I'm, all those big cards. I'm gonna expect huh? to take Doctor Doctor Stank when it actually when they actually finish Mulligan. because I don't want to glitch out again. Because that would be very very annoying. Well, last time it happened when he played a card and yeah. it prevented the card flip. Please. Sure why. Oh fuck. See, is it, the cards flipped, but they didn't flip. They actually just flipped whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't notice it. Oh, see, I, I can see why he's playing this off now. He's getting that dank burn uh, Barnes uh, value, right? Yeah, yeah. He's going to pull out... Uh, what? Savannah, come on, Savannah's here. That'd be sick. Oh, that's pretty good, too. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a, that's a draw card. Yeah. Clear boards that way. But he has, like, four howl, pool, and double... Brawl, like so much value. Yeah, so much value. So I feel like this warrior is actually pretty decent against the Zoth Paladin, but obviously very weak to the Priest Paladin. Yeah. All right, Priest yeah. Zoth. I also think so too, just because of the Brawl itself. Yeah, like the yeah. Brawls are super sweet against, uh, you know, like the Zoth. Like you use the first one to clear a massive board and then follow it up with uh, mm -hmm. dealing with the Zoth turn. Mm hmm. But I, but the only reason why I feel priest is good against any kind of control warrior is because of the out value that it does, and as well as especially in the entomb and stuff like that. Well, a lot of control warriors tend to run less threats that yeah. are like yeah, that too. Well, regardless of which kind You're of not... warrior is it, but then um, like priest itself has 
so much answers to them. Like, let's say you're playing Cthune Control Warrior, right? Mm -hmm. You can easily use Sylvanas of Death to take control of Cthune so they wouldn't get the combo off. Or you can even tomb, well, tomb it. Aren't you typically against priests? Aren't you going for, like, when you play Cthune, it's for lethal? <laughs> Uh, not necessarily, because most of them, what they try to do is they play the Cthulhu, they hope it dies, and then they can play uh -huh. the brand new Colossal to finish them all. Yes, that's fair. Yeah, but They're then, probably gonna but see the, the but, next turn. Yeah, but the thing that I see from most people is that, like, when, when they play against priests, is that they don't really have the time to actually use Shield Slam on their own kind of Cthulhu, and then use the combo that way, just so your opponent doesn't mm -hmm. seal it. So this is... This is super scary. Yeah, oh, I think you have to do this. I think yeah. you have to go into yeah, uh, Ravage Ghoul. Yeah, execute. execute. Yeah, and you can hear power too, so it's not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. just uh, <laughs> that that councilman could spell lethal, and we're looking in uh, Doctor Singh's hand. He has nine bursts in hand. Yeah, true. And then Doctor Singh is just working from the deficit because mm -hmm. you would figure that the M gang or the imp would trade with the three three, and you would power overwhelming the. Okay, it looks like he's gonna try juggling first. This could backfire on the damage actually going into the ghoul. Mm -hmm. Then he would be forced to use the power of the wild. Yeah. Or the power of the wild. But, or just use the drake. So yeah, he actually just lost a point of damage. He's just gonna trade with the imp anyway. Or just go face. Mm -hmm. He does have double power of the wild, he just needs his minions to stick. Dragon off the top? No, no, he, he probably doesn't run any dragon to this deck. Other than maybe Yusera, but. Alex Rasta? Maybe Alex Strauss, but I see a lot of people don't run that anymore in the soft deck. I mean, when you have less dragons, you're less worried about it. But when you do have a dragon, just right. Look, it would declare this for So, does he have lethal? If. No, he doesn't. <laughs> it's like if he actually used the uh, Power of the Wild. Alright. Power of the Wild, lol. If he used the. Uh, the light me. The PO, and then. Use one minion to clear, then use the second PO on the other minion and to the Doom Guard was like, what? How much damage? Oh, okay, so this is 5, 9, 10, 13. 11, 12, 13, 14. So right now, he needs to. I have no time yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there, this is sleep all the way. Because even he's fire, because this is 14, I believe. Yeah, so it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, yeah. For, oh, yeah, I did write to Dr. Stank as winning the first game. Well, it'd be cool if you actually put it. But yeah, that's a really big art square. It is. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, man. Wow. So, Priest, Zoo, what is his last deck? He didn't ban War, he put it over their names entirely. Yeah. But. Mm, the only thing I, I hate about it is just, it's just like. It's weird. It's weird looking. Well, it's just a white block. Yeah, it's a white block. Yeah. Probably. All right to actually cover up their uh, battle tags as well. Oh yeah, that's. And true. some people get spammed in the middle of their game. Oh yeah. Listen, what are you doing? Stop it. Job's done. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, mm. so that five drop, I believe that's the uh, Nerubian prophet. So, so playing the that's Nerubian evolved. prophet, so it's an evolved shaman deck. So it's really popular. Uh, I've seen Savage played it. There's a really huge kind of power turns you can do with it, especially. You think? What? I think... The Evolve deck is popular. I thought it was the other Totemic Might deck that was insanely no, popular. No, 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 no. The Evolve deck is popular because apparently this deck is a little bit more consistent than the that deck. I mean, the deck that I've seen via uh, VLPS play, mm -hmm. uh, Naviut play. Uh, I mean, I could probably I... go on like. Some of the bigger tournament names, yeah. like Savage, I wouldn't say is a big no, no, tournament. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know. But Savage, Tice, and a lot of the uh, G2 guys are actually playing this deck as well. They're trying to perfect what Savage made. So, okay. yeah. If Tice is playing it, then it's probably all right. <laughs> Just because Tice is playing, feels bad. I mean, come on, Tice is what a double Ooh. prelim winner. Ooh, having the mana. A second place BlizzCon winner. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Kill that Meta Titan yeah. in a heartbeat with the wolf. Yeah. Sometimes when, like, I saw Savage play this deck, he played the Pantry Spire, which uh, which he drew in right now, uh, and then he evolves it. That's pretty disgusting. See, now he can go Pantry, Nerubian Prophet, yeah, and evolve. That, yeah. That's disgusting. But he doesn't Does he do it! He doesn't do it! He's just waiting. 
He can wait another turn. What? Oh man, so many good choices. Hex is good. I mean, not Hex. Uh, Owl's good here. Uh, actually, Owl's good now. So well, they don't even have to deal with that. Yeah, he's going in for new game Well, what is he thinking? He's so BM. BM. Oh, so nah. yeah, yes, he's probably BMing because of the uh, un unleashed the hands. Or oh, not BMing, like emoting, whatever. Yeah, so he's probably gonna play at least a hand with Eevee. He could do a full mode. board clear. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so maybe they, like playing the Nubian was a mistake this turn. Mm -hmm. But wait until next turn with yeah, the probably. uh, the evolve, and then got what two four four or two four drops and a seven drop, which yeah. would have been really sick. Too. Yeah, it is sick because you get some stuff like Nubian and stuff like that. Like no, no, not Nubian. I mean so, like Yeti, like Yeti bodies. Like oh man, that's disgusting. Well, at least in my opinion. And I feel like you do need a power turn early against um, Hunter anyways, too. It's because it's really hard to come back when they play Call of the Wild on turn 8. Wow. So before that, you have to pressure him, pressure the Hunter itself. I guess uh, you could. You have the option of going with two 4-drops here. Hero power, yeah, and then evolve. Uh, another route was you could just wait another turn and just draw a card. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't even care. Yeah. But if you had the Nurebian uh, Prophet being involved, that would be pretty disgusting because it is a 7 drop, and 7 drop does have pretty big bodies in general. Or what 7 wow. drop doesn't have a big body, actually. Yeah, so Huffer is here. Always Huffer, man. I believe Huffer and the 1-1 one, one is probably going to go face, and I think you actually have to use Bow here to clear the 5-3. Uh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, now you can uh, use a Freezing and then yeah, your power. Oh, you think about trading with the uh, Elder? No, 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 I don't think you do that. You have called the Wild to push even more damage, and especially when your opponent doesn't have a ton, I feel like you should just keep going face. Ooh, another Evolve. Do you attack with the T5 first, right? Yeah. Or are you afraid of Explosive? I, you, you attack the 3-1 first. 3-1. Why would you no, not attack No, because then you... No. Then you can't deal with uh, Bear Trap if you're going face. Uh, freezing Trap, then you'll suddenly... True, but you do have you rock can't. biters in your hand, though. True. Yeah, you have but you biters. probably just don't want to take a bunch of damage, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think he has a choice right now because he is pretty behind. Was freezing. So, yeah. Elder now trades. I don't think you care about the one one. I think he, this is probably an evolved turn. Mm -hmm. Do you just play Manatee Totem to get evolved out of that, or do you play the? Two drop again and get another three drop. No, I want as big body as possible because you're going in turn eight. Like for me personally, when I play against uh, Shaman, I consciously think about that call of the wild because that's Ooh. probably one of the things you, I can't really handle. Maybe you do keep the taunt. Yeah, I think he might choose not to do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, looks yeah. like it. Yeah. Ooh, the uh, four drop that transforms one of your minions, a single target yeah. version. So technically, you can make the um, Ancient Mage bigger, or you want the Manatai to be bigger first, and then evolve them all. Oh, I think you're fine with keeping Manatai. I think you just make the Ancient bigger. Yeah. All right, deciding not to play Call of the Wild, playing it very, very patiently. I since you can't do fight damage straight to the face, you might as well not play it then. Get in there and fight, Looks like he's gonna smack in first, then he's going to evolve, or not evolve. He's gonna go with the. Four drop into evolve, getting a hero power in there too would be pretty sweet. But now all of a sudden this five drop just or four drop got bounced back and now his turn is awfully weak again. I think it would have been better if he actually powered up the Manatai totem and attack to get it bounced to his hand. Yeah. So he's making it abusive uh, as a two drop. That's a pretty decent oh. kind of two drop. This has to now be you don't want to evolve. <sighs> That's so rough. Yeah. Getting actual creatures that you want to keep on the board to actually die. Yeah, you you straight up want that kind of value. Manatai doing work. Hmm, is there any good trades here? Yeah, I guess like you do want to try keeping tempo against the evolve deck. Well, yeah, because it bounces back to your hand and you replay it. And yeah. Get extended value. It's like drawing a card. So but annoying. Just drawing a. I can see Pretty this being pretty things. good with Evolve by like using it right now. I probably personally don't care about the uh... Is that a, an Evolve Cobalt? <laughs> no, it's the 3-1. Oh baby. It looks so much sim so similar. It's the Borgen. The Shaded Borgen or something. Whoa. We do Patron. see a Patron. 
well played. You might you might <laughs> even want to go. Back. You might even like quick shot the um, the wrath card too, just so you get value yeah. out of it. But then well, you, you, you want to go patron, face. Though. It's the same thing, right? Like yeah. killing the wrath card. Like you want to kill the wrath card, but you, I don't think you care. You can afford to care about the patron. I don't know, man. You can just use your hero power to kill oh. the patron anyway. I think you're just looking for. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I think you actually kill the ghoul here if you are using to play or to attack. Look, could he actually find lethal seven more this turn? Puts him down to five. So then he just needs a quick shot or a kill command plus mm -hmm. hero power next. Mm -hmm. So he does have a, a route for lethal, but it's... is there a reverse with the hex? Like the hex gets absorbed by the patron. Okay. Then he takes an additional one damage from the ghoul, so that's four, eight, uh, twelve. Okay, that's so, only twelve damage. Okay, so you hex the four six, right? You hex the four six. Yeah, that's you have to hex. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah. You hex the four six. six, and then you hit, and then that's like twelve points of damage. Yeah, there's no way. There's no. Yeah, there's no way. I don't. I don't see. There's anything. certainly no lethal, but you can block the board. But you have to actually clear here. Oh, yeah. interesting. So yeah, he's gonna clear and then get the hit with the ghoul, which is yeah, gonna I'll be a lot bigger. I like that a lot better. Yeah, I feel so like that's a smarter player. So it's a little too a top deck now. If it's any basically damage card coming from the hunter. Oh, look at those taunt stuff. So annoying. And that is not damage. Yeah, that is not damage. Just a find a high main. So Doctor Stank will be winning this match. Three oh, yes, crazy. T Mac. That's pretty that's, impressive. That's, uh, Nizoth Priest. Yeah, Nizoth Priest. Evolve Shaman. I'm gonna ask for the deck list afterwards, so...